Today, today, you how you can add SSL to your WordPress website. Hi, and welcome to the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex. Have you ever heard of the term SSL? Well, if you haven't, SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer. And there are two major reasons why you want to have SSL running on your WordPress website. Reason number one is the fact that SSL is actually used to encrypt the information sent between a web server and a web browser. So say for example, you had a website where users or subscribers have to provide information like passwords or email addresses. Or say for example, you had an e-commerce website where you sell products and customers have to provide their credit card details. What SSL does is that it encrypts all that information. So say by some chance a hacker was able to get their hands on that data, they would not be able to read the information because it's all encrypted. Amazing, right? Reason number two is the fact that Google and other major search engines would actually reward you if they find out that you have SSL running on your website. What SSL does is that it signals to Google and other search engines that your site is protected, it's encrypted. So Google and other search engines will feel more confident about directing traffic to your website. So I hope I've been able to convince you to have SSL running on your WordPress website. Let me now show you how you can add SSL. Let's get started. Before we begin, let's talk about the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. And it's important for you to understand this. Now, HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and basically determines how information is exchanged between your web browser and a web server. So whenever you go to a computer and you type in, let's say for example, uh, www.youtube.com on Chrome, and then you press enter, the way your Chrome browser interacts with the web server of YouTube, and then information is, is transferred from the web server to your browser, that's basically uh, HTTP working behind the scenes. Now, HTTPS is simply the secured version of HTTP. So whenever information is transferred from the web server of a website to your web browser, that information will be encrypted. And that's why if you go to a site like Amazon.com, for example, you will notice up here at the domain right here that you can see it's HTTPS in green and you can see the green padlock sign here saying secure. Now, take a look at a site over here, which is uh, solo.taskopedia.com. <laughs> this is one of my sites and you can see right now, HTTPS here is in red and it says not secure. So this should tell you right off the bat that this site doesn't have SSL and it certainly doesn't have HTTPS. Now here's my actual blog and you can see it's in green, HTTPS is in green and we also have the secure uh, symbol there. Note that this is the Chrome browser I am using. So if you're on Firefox or you're using Safari, the symbols might be a bit different, but the message is still the same. Now, in some other circumstances, you might have a site like this where you don't see whether it's secure or not secure. In most cases, this particular kind of symbol right here will tell you that this site may not be secure. However, sometimes your site might actually have HTTPS and might have SSL, but you still will not see this green uh, sign right here. To rectify this, you'll, you'll need to force your browser to uh, run HTTPS. We'll talk about this a bit uh, later in the video. All right, let me close Amazon. And now let's jump over here to let's encrypt. Now let's talk about SSL purely. Now, when it comes to SSL certificates, okay, there are two different types you can get. You can get a free SSL certificate or you can get a paid one. The major difference between the paid and the free versions of SSL are the, is simply the fact that with the paid version, you will get better support, all right? Now the level of encryption itself is the same. Don't think that because you're paying for an SSL certificate, its level of encryption will be higher than a free one. No, the levels of encryption are exactly the same. The only difference is with a free SSL certificate, usually you might have to install it yourself, manage it yourself. But with a paid version, the company that sold you this certificate will help you uh, install the certificate and of course manage the certificate whenever uh, it expires. By the way, SSL certificates expire every three months. So with the paid version, it will renew automatically. But with a free version, you might have to renew it yourself uh, manually. But with that being said, 
Let me tell you right now that you should go for a free SSL certificate. And the reason is because when it comes to support, depending on which free SSL certificate you got and whether or not your web hosting company provides you with a free SSL certificate, you'll just discover that the support is almost the same as if you, you are actually paying for the SSL certificate. So I want to introduce you to my web hosting company, which is SiteGround.com. SiteGround is one of the best web hosting companies in the world because they offer lots of different kinds of features, including a service here called Let's Encrypt. Now, Let's Encrypt is a company that produces free SSL certificates. These guys are basically doing God's work in the uh, WordPress security arena, basically. That's what they're doing. It's a really awesome company and the certificates are really, really good. So here's the thing, okay? You can go to letsencrypt.org and then if you click on get started, click on the get started button, over here you will see the list of all hosting providers that offer free SSL certificates via uh, Let's Encrypt. So you can click on the link right here and it will show you all the web hosting companies that offer this service. Now here's the thing. If your web hosting company is not on this list and they do not offer other free kinds of SSL certificates, then you absolutely have to switch hosts today. I'm not even joking. If your web hosting company is refusing to install or provide you with a feature that will give you a free SSL certificate, then they are backward and they're basically living in the stone ages because any decent web hosting company today should be able to provide free SSL certificates. And if you want to switch, once again, you should switch to SiteGround. You will find the link in the description box below where you can get their services at a discounted rate. It's basically, it will be about $3.95 per month. And you'll have access to lots of free features, including the Let's Encrypt uh, feature. Now, what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to assume that your web hosting company does provide the Let's Encrypt feature. Now, if you're working with SiteGround, then simply follow along with what I'm doing. If you are on, on another web hosting company, go to your cPanel, okay? Go to your cPanel and in your cPanel, you should have like a separate section that deals with security. And then on the security, you should see something like Let's Encrypt, all right? So you can say I have the Let's Encrypt feature right here. I'm gonna click on the link, Let's Encrypt. And then from here, I'm going to look for the domain that I want to install the certificate on. You can see all the different domains I've installed the certificate on already. So I'm going to come all the way down here and I'm going to choose solo.taskopedia.com. So there you go. That's solo.taskopedia.com. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install the regular uh, encrypt SSL. So let's do that. Install. And uh, that's basically all you need to do. So hopefully your web hosting company provides this particular feature. Go to the cPanel, go to the security section and then click on the Let's Encrypt button and then simply find your domain and then simply install the certificate. And there you go. I have successfully installed SSL on my domain. Just like that. Very, very, very easy. So. If for some reason your web hosting company isn't providing you with a free SSL, SSL certificate and if also you decide to stick with them for some weird reason, you can go to setbot. This is setbot.eff.org and then from here you'll have to manually generate your own SSL certificate. So from here you'll have to choose the software. In most cases, your web host will be using Apache in most cases, but you, you will want to confirm this. So it's going to be Apache and then you'll choose a web hosting service. And then from here, you will see the different kinds of uh, instructions on how to go ahead and generate and install your own certificates. However, take a look at this, even on the setbot.eff site over here, it says that if your web, if your hosting provider doesn't provide built-in Let's Encrypt support, you should ask them to add it. Dozens of providers with millions of customers conveniently allow their users to obtain Let's Encrypt certificates automatically. So once again, rather than you having to come over here and generate your own certificate and then install it, and then this is a pretty advanced uh, 
process by the way you need to be very very sharp in order to do this it's it's pretty advanced so rather than going through this very lengthy process just ask your web hosting company to assist you and if they cannot assist you with installing ssl as important as it is simply switch web host that is the best advice i can give you today switch to a company that actually offers you free ssl certificates and that company once again will be side ground this is the company i work with for the past six years and I've never, never had any issues with them. They provide awesome features and their customer support is second to none. So once you've switched to SiteGround, once again, check the link in the description box below. Once you've switched to SiteGround, simply follow the steps I've shown you and you will be good to go. Now, if I jump back to my site over here, all right, and I click refresh, let's see what we have. So now you can see that the site has now transformed to HTTPS in green. And it's now secure and that's because i successfully was able to install my let's encrypt certificate now in some particular situations where you've successfully added ssl you've switched your site to https and even when you refresh you still see this kind of symbol you don't see the green padlock what you want to do is to go ahead and install a plugin called the really simple ssl now what this plugin does is that it will make sure that your browser and your site will run via HTTPS. But of course, you can only do this once you've installed your SSL certificate. So if for some reason you've switched to SSL, you've added SSL, you've switched to HTTPS, and even when you refresh your browser, you still don't see the green padlock, what you wanna do is to simply go ahead, install this plugin, and it will automatically force your site to run through HTTPS. There are no settings involved. Just download the plugin, install, activate the plugin, and it will work automatically. That's all you need to do. So there you have it. That's how to install SSL certificates on your WordPress website. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this or if you run into any difficulties, you can put your comments or your questions in the comment section below. I'll try my very best to answer them. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I go live, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.